Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering conditional operators. Now, basically what conditional operators are is testing to see if a value is either less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to another value. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and create a couple variables up here. So we'll create a variable called is in kindergarten as boolean and we'll go ahead and set that equal to nothing now we're going to create a couple other balloons and now the reason we're doing this is because we're going to see um, we're going to use the person's age to determine different um, things that they can and can't do or whether they're at a certain point in their life so now we're going to do dim can drink as boolean and we'll go ahead and set that one equal to nothing too and we'll dim um, is a or is senior citizen as boolean and we'll set that one equal to nothing too okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prompt the user to put in their name so we'll type console dot right line or not their name, their age. What is your age? And now we're going to create a new variable that stores their age. So dim age as integer and we're going to set it equal to console.readline. So whatever they type in is stored in the age variable. So now we're going to create some if statements here. So if um, if age does not equal five then do this so basically the not equals operator in Visual Basic is the less than sign and the greater than sign put right next to each other now if you're used to any other languages sometimes they will use the exclamation mark equals but in Visual Basic it's just like that so if age is not equal to five then we're, we're gonna go ahead and set is in kindergarten equal to false and now if it's anything else or if, if it is equal to 5 then is in kindergarten is equal to true so now we are going to create another if statement so if age is greater than or equal to 65 then we're going to say that they are a senior citizen so is senior citizen equals true and now if their age is anything else that's not greater than or equal to 65 which is pretty much stuff that's lower than 65 then is senior citizen is going to be set equal to false okay so now we're going to come down here below that and we'll make another if statement so if age is greater than or equal to 21 then can drink is equal to true and then else can drink is equal to false so now what we're gonna do is since we have all of these if statements made to set the values of the booleans we're going to go ahead and create a string. So we'll do dim outcome as string, and we'll go ahead and set that equal to nothing. Or let's do outcome kindergarten. And now let's go ahead and make a couple more of these. and let's do outcome senior and outcome drink so now we're, what we're gonna do is if age is not equal to five then outcome kindergarten equals you aren't in kindergarten and let's just go ahead and copy this right here and 
if they are in kindergarten, we're just going to tell them, you are in kindergarten. Now, outcome senior equals you are a senior or citizen. You are a senior citizen. And if they are younger than 65, then we're going to tell them that they aren't. And now, outcome drink equals you can drink. Because if age is greater than or equal to 21, the can drink is equal to true. And since can drink is equal to true, then we're going to say that they can drink. And now else, we're going to say you cannot drink. So now what we're going to do, after all of this is done, we're going to do console dot right line outcome drink and outcome kindergarten and outcome senior. Now let's go ahead and add a couple spaces in here. So we'll add a space right there in between it. Now this will just make our outcome look a little bit nicer so that there's spaces in between each one of the uh, messages that we have here. Okay, so now if we run this, hopefully everything works fine. If we type in what is your age, okay, there we go. We got a problem right there. Uh, I always seem to do this in the programs. We're going to have to add a console.readline. Okay, so now if we run this, it'll say, what is your age? And if we type in five, it'll say, you cannot drink, you are in kindergarten, and you aren't a senior citizen. And now if we do something like 21, say, you can drink, you aren't in kindergarten, and you aren't a senior citizen. And now let's do this one more time. Say, what is your age? We'll do 67. It'll say, you can drink, you aren't in kindergarten, and you are a senior citizen. So make a couple programs uh, using these conditional operators. Uh, they're very useful when using if statements. And then once you've got that nailed down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.